Hello, ladies and gentlemen. What is going on? I hope you're having a good day. We have Liquid Steel Lou spawning as the Red Zerg, and he is going up against White Raw, who spawns as the Blue Protoss. If you don't know, these two players play together so freaking much. They have played, I think, 70 games so far in the month of December. I know a few days ago I was reading a tweet from TLO saying, We are 33 and 33 currently. This game is after that. This game was played on December 26th. And TLO was so kind to send these games to me. White Dot is doing mineral splitting, or whatever you want to call that, very well going on the close mineral patches. While TLO, it looks like he is doing the same thing. And, uh, well, both these players have played together a lot. They know each other inside and out. And what I also am pleased to say, that both these players have got exponentially better, I'd say, this month. Ready to make a big year in 2012. TLO is one of those players that got super popular back in the beta. I think it was from two games. Game number one, I think it was against, Na I think both these games may have been against Nazgul. One of the games was he did a Nidus, well he was getting attacked on Scrap Station I think it was, and his base was almost dead, but he did a Nidus network, put his drones in, and actually base traded and won the game. And we do have TLO, it looks like he is going to be going around the corner to throw down a hatch first, and I really don't like this play just because White Raw could cannon rush it, but he doesn't have his forge down yet, he is not sending a probe just yet to go build a forge, so it looks like White Raw will be going for a Nexus first. And the other game that TLO got so popular, I think it may be the most watched YouTube video related to StarCraft. Maybe Day 9's past that with something. But it is when he played against, I think it was Nazgul again. And this time he was Terran because back in the beta TLO played as random. And he went like nuke battlecruiser in some epic 30-40 minute game. It was amazing. So TLO just had some really good games early in the beta. And then he just got really popular for being a random player and just being such an awesome guy. He is one of those players that will say that game, well, playing the game, he does it sometimes for the um, viewers, and it's not just to win the game. That's when he's playing these four fun games. He is an entertainer and also wants to perform well. At least that was his 2011. I think in 2012, he is going hardcore because he has got so ridiculously good. And White Raw... Man, has this guy improved as well. Two days ago, he did go either it was 3-0 or 4-0 against Kaz. I know he shut him out in some show match. And then, just yesterday, I think he went 3-4 and four against him. Losing it yesterday, but two days ago, shutting him out. I don't know exactly what happened in those games, but man... Shutting Kaz out is a big deal, because if you don't know, Kaz is one of the best European Terrans. And White Raw setting his one probe out. He does know this was a hatch first, so he may be throwing down a pylon somewhere. And it is interesting because White Raw did go for a gate, then a forge instead of a forge gate, but he is going to be getting this cannon, so his sub next for it is not going to be really any earlier than normal. So all of White Raw's timings will be very standard, despite him going for the gate before the forge. And now the probe is going to come and count all the probes. He saw about four there, or maybe it was six. How many are here? He sees six, and then you can see this. This is 16. You can see all them, just two per mineral patch. So you can quickly tell this is 22 drones mining minerals, and there you go, 22. And he is building four more, so White Raw has the count on TLO, and this is something a lot of those really high-level players do. And how did these three links get in? It looks like they got in just before the cannon finished. Actually, it's three links, so the cannon may have taken out one, so TLO is going to be ridiculously annoying with these three links, but he does have a Zealot on the way. Probe's going to try to defend their homeland, and the injured one in the deep, deep red is going to go back down to this one patch, and well, if the links want to go to it, they have to go through a cannon, so White Raw saving that one probe left. Doesn't have to worry about micro it. Looks like one probe so far goes down, and only one link left. We do have a Zealot now chasing it. Going to this worker kill cab, we have three probes dead. And this one link doesn't have any kills, but he is going to be running circles around the base. The Zealot is going to be chasing him all, maybe not all day. And now the link just going to keep on running around. TLO, oh my god, that is a very fast layer. He does not even get link speed. He goes straight for that layer tech, has three gases up. It looks like he's going to be doing some super fast rush to Mutalisks, maybe? He's getting a roach one, so maybe not. Maybe he's going to go for... Root speed, I have no clue what TLO is doing. He goes for the lair at 6 minutes, and he opts not to get speed. Generally, that first 100 gas is used to get speed. 
obviously now it is not. Uh, TLO right now being a little bit oversaturated. Has to do a transfer. He does have, it looks like, two and a half idle drones and soon to be like three and a half. And down here at this base, well, he's pretty much ideally saturated, so he can't really fix that issue until he throws down another hatchery. White Rot is going to be putting on some pressure. He does have a Stalker and a Zealot. TLO going into scout with his Overlord has one over here just to check if White Rot is taking his third base yet. And it looks like White Rot wants to start putting on pressure. Throws down a few more gates. He's going to open up four gates with a Robo facility. Robo Bay on the way, so Colossatech eminent. We do have a Stalker making his way in here. He may be wondering where the Lings are. If he sees a Ling without speed, he will know that the Lair is going down. Or that Taylor is doing something even he can't comprehend. Roaches do come out, and I don't think White Knight has seen non-speed Lings. He is going to come up here and get taken out by the Roach, but White Knight has to know something's up now. Having that attack and not seeing any lings, it's definitely very, very odd. We do have Roach Speed on the way, so it looks like TLO going for a super fast Roach push. Does have more Roaches out, also has Overlords. Is he getting Overlord drop? No, he is not, but he does have that Overlord speed. Roach is moving across the map. We do have White Raw. Doesn't have much defense. He has two Stalkers and a Sentry right now. It has an Immortal. That Immortal will be very nice against Roaches, but TLO is going to have so much. It looks like TLO has spread this. He's got a Laffy Taffy Highway straight to White Raw's base. It looks like very nicely played by TLO. Spreading that creep with his Overlord. This one cannon in danger of going down almost immediately. Four seals going down. And the Roaches do back off. They're going to go up and see if there is a Nexus here. Going to find a Pylon. This Pylon will not supply Cap White Raw. And one Roach does go down. It looks like we have plenty of Roaches here. Those Stalkers definitely in trouble. They do have to back off, but the Roaches are fast. They're going to take out two Stalkers. Possibly the Sentry and the Immortal. Gonna go for that Immortal now. So close. So close. Yet so. Oh, wait. He's going for it. He does get that Immortal. And now TLO is backing off. We do have a Colossus on the way. More Roaches do join. And we have that Flappy Taffy Highway, as I said, almost connecting the two bases. That one Sentry does go down. Now this plus one armor not going to be completed because of these Roaches. Just keep on attacking it. This is a very odd push from TLO with this super fast Roach speed. Doing so much damage. Now going to go for the cybernetic score and say no more stalkers or sentries. And I think that could just be GG right there. White Rod's going to need some miracle defense without being able to reinforce with stalkers or sentries. These roaches are going to be so strong. They're trying to take out that one Colossus, but they just can't. This buffer is too big right now. But there's so many roaches just picking White Rod apart. He is going to be going back, and now that Colossus is in danger, but the roaches decide to back off. Because Zealots did get morphed. Roach is just doing the best to kite. This one class is still in danger. And he is getting Immortals out. So I forgot about that. Immortals will be very good against Roaches. More Roaches coming in from the back. The class is going to be microed up. And White Rot is keeping that class alive with a very careful micro. Now the Roaches just going to be going to attack the Furbs. The worker count 51 Jones. 246 Furbs. And I don't know what their stalkers or Roaches are doing. Looks like they really want to kill this Colossus, but they do not manage to get it. Nine kills on that Colossus. He is now a mentor. About to get another one, but no, he doesn't. More Roaches do come in, but I think White Raw has held this off. He does have two Immortals, which will be very good against Roaches. And TLO is going to have to go in retreat. He does know about that one pylon, so he is going to be taking that out. It still will not supply cap White Raw. He has more Roaches just funneled across the map and actually leaving this pylon. And going to try to take these zealots out. Gets one of them. Gets another. And, uh, well, he's going to keep on going for it. We do have Burrow on the way with Ling Speed. Another Roach and uh, being built now. And the closet finally goes down. So Kilo, mission accomplished. Passing out the closet. But there are three Immortals here. And Immortals can it deal with Roaches. I think three Immortals will one-shot a Roach. 55 damage. And a Roach has 145 life. So, yeah, three Immortals. We'll start one-shotting roaches, and these roaches are already in danger of being one-shot by just one immortal blast. And now this pylon will be finally going down, and yes, it does supply cap white rod, turning that into, well, an improper fraction. His supply is upside down. We do have a probe up here, and again, this little creep highway has helped TLO so much. Such nice play, something that you'd think would be obvious that you'd see every game, but players just cannot work it into their mechanics. And TLO is doing just that. Colossus is all alone. I don't know what those roaches are thinking. 
now one gonna die the other is gonna retreat that burrow just about done the spire also near completion and the roaches just have to kill these stalkers which there aren't many so the anti-air is lacking for white raw so TLO with Roach and um, Mutalisk could do a lot of damage. He is stocking up to 700 now. He just got something. Looks like he's getting new uh, pathogen glands. But he is going to be build a handful of Mutalisks any minute. This one probe come by. Sees that high win. He's like, oh man, that's how you get my base so freaking quick. We do have White Rod taking the third base, but that Spire just about complete. The stalker count only at four, but he does have six sentries. Sentries can kind of deal with mutas, not so much. TLO taking his fourth base, so he is going to be staying plus one base on White Raw. And why do you have four drones? Is he going to start spine caller pushing as well? Um, this is a new one. Drones going into battle. And uh, let's see what they end up doing. Maybe TLO thinks he's playing Karen and pulls Wilkers to help out, but uh, doesn't help so much for Zerg case. That one Roach getting the short end of the deal after getting hit with that one force field. The drones are being pulled back home, so I think that was a miss micro by TLO. We do have this one Overlord still just chilling out here, and uh, White Rot is going to be trying to take that out. Blink is started. We do have a greater Spire already. This is 16 minutes into the game. TLO is just teching up like a madman. He went for that super fast lair with the roach speed and now he's going for a super fast greater spire. I thought he was going to go for mutalisk play because well he has done such a number on the stalker count. But it looks like he's just going to go into blue lords and white rock could be in trouble. He is moving out but we do have a lot of lings coming in. There are two cannons here. Lings have to be targeted on these probes and yes it looks like they are not as they are attacking the cannons. White Dot is coming back to defend this, but those Lings are doing some damage. I don't think they really did that much. They did stop this attack, which is what Tilo needs. He is just buying time for those Brood Lords. If White Dot didn't pull back, White Dot may have just won the game by moving in, because all Tilo really has is nothing. He doesn't have much for defense, but in any minute now, he will have a lot of Brood Lords, which will help him defend. So while those Lings did not do any economic damage, they did pull White Raw back, stop White Raw from attacking, which will allow TLO to get the army he needs. So that little Ling run by was definitely crucial to TLO right now. I'd say that TLO would have lost the game if White Raw just kept on pushing. We would have done severe damage. TLO going to be taking another base, but White Raw is going to see this immediately with the Observer going to turn it around. And now move his force out to go and take that one hatch out. And uh, White Rod does have decent anti-air now. Does have blinks. So those infectors are going to have to land some new uh, fungal growths. To loot those stalkers in place so the Broodlords can do their damage. Or maybe he's just going to have so many Broodlords. And take White Rod by surprise. Who knows. He does have a lot more lanes going in to run by. So White Rod, is he going to pull back again? Or is he just going to keep on going? We do have three cannons now instead of just the two. There's lanes going all the way up to the north spot. They are going to find this one hatch. White Rod's going to be taking that out as the lanes do run in. A probe does see all these lanes. He is going to start warping in two zealots. And those zealots are at 1-1. One, one. Those lanes are at 1-2. Here we go. Big force coming in. Stalkers blink underneath the Broodlords. Where is everything else? TLO has all the Broodlords coming in now. Force fields go down, but there's Broodlords just sieging up from the air. Fungal growths go down on a lot of chance from drones. And now there's lanes going to come up in the back. Fungal growths again on those Stalkers. Stalkers cannot get underneath the Broodlords. So many Broodlings are out, and White Raw is getting picked apart. It looks like 180 through 2, 122. White Raw now on the retreat. This Infestor does not have enough to it. Uh, Fungal Growth. Stalkers do get up here, take out that infestation pit, and they're going to blink down, but run into a lot of Broodlords. Transfuse going down on these Broodlords to keep them alive. That Queen doing her job. And now White Rod trying to take this one Queen out. Lings come to try to defend it. The Mortal's almost taken out. It looks like one does go down. The other one will not. He does have more Lings on the way out, but the Broodlords going to be making their way across the map does have roaches as well. It looks like he may just sacrifice this one base and say, you know what, I'm going to go straight for the juggler and just win the game. This one queen trying to go back and defend. Sadly, there's no creep highway for her to run back on. 
But this queen also on her way. We do have a few urchins. Looks like they did clean that up. And TLO adjusting up these rocks so a few force fields don't just trap all of his units. And that, those rocks are taken out. White Dog with the defensive blink to blink backwards. Going to be sacrificing this one pylon. It's 200 supply to 120 supply. White Dog getting his Stargate. TLO getting 3-3 three, three for the ground. His roaches are burrowing just to regain the health. And now they're going to unburrow another Brood Lord being morphed right in White Dog's face. Stalkers do blink underneath. The roaches do pull back another blink. And these Brood Lords definitely in trouble. Maybe not. As uh, they are dealing with the Stalkers very well. I forgot about that huge supply lead that TLO has. White Dog definitely in trouble as everything is falling. Now the Colossus is going to be retreating back. There's Brutally chasing it. They die just before they can get the kill. But what does White Dog have to defend against this? And now we have two Altalus on the way to this six Brood Lord army with 29 Roaches. It's not looking good for White Dog. 11, 10 Stalkers now. Nine Stalkers, one Colossus, now zero Colossus, one Zealot, everything just dying. TLO will be taking this game. There goes the GG, well played. TLO taking that game. Hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe to me on YouTube. It helps me so, so much. Take care, guys, and peace out.